Yo, yo, yo. It's D. Arthur in the building. I'm, I'm talking to you guys today about wh why when you go on semen retention, women will have, will, will act more like, m more like children around you. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll start acting a little bit different around you as opposed to when you relapse. Like when you relapse, let's say, let's say you have a job and you, let's say you work with women. Now, if you, if you, if you've been, if you've re retained and the difference between how they act between you retaining and you relapsing are two completely different things. If you relapse, if you, if you, if you were to beat off before the night you were going to work and you maybe had a job interview or something like that, or you were interacting with people, they might forget your name. They, they might just think the, they might not even recognize, recognize you, recognize you. They might think you're two completely different people. That just goes to show you how significant your, your invisible energy aura is. People, people think this is a joke. People think this is, the, there's no such thing as aura or there's no difference there's no difference between how you act between when you retain and when you relapse and actually there is a big difference there's people will forget your name people will people will test a woman will test you a lot more they'll disrespect you they'll forget your name they'll try to challenge you they'll see how much what you're really made of when you relapse but when you retain <clears throat> they're just gonna probably respect you more they're they might still test you, but you're going to pass the test. You're going to hold your ground. You're just going to be the person that you really want to be. You're going to be the person that you really want to be. See, the, the thing about the winners and the losers in the world are the, the losers. Are the, the losers never really submit. I mean, losers submit. They submit. They submit to life. And what does submission to life really mean? Submission to life means you, you you don't think there's any way out of a situation, so you don't try, and you don't try, and you keep complaining about specific situations, about certain situations, and you just don't, and you just don't, you don't do anything about it. You're complaining. You say things like you hate your job. You say things like you hate your job. You have nightmares going to your job, but you do nothing about it people in general talk about how much they hate their jobs but the only thing is but the thing is um the thing is they, they say they hate their jobs they don't do anything about it they think that the job is the only way to earn income in 2021 think about that and they say they're miserable at their jobs but anytime a new opportunity arises they throw it out the window and this is a difference between a loser and a winner because because a loser sees the opportunity right in front of them and they throw it out. They make excuses. They, they become defensive. People would rather have a, fam would probably be miserable, would have a familiar misery than a foreign happiness. Uh, the, the acronym for poor is passing over opportunities repeatedly. Like I said, people hate their jobs. They can't stand their work. But for some reason, when an opportunity arises that could get them eventually out of, let's say, said situation, they throw it out the window. They think it doesn't work. They think it's a scam. They think that it's defensive. They think they, they, they'll, they'll just keep complaining. Though, and that is a form of submission. Now, the winners, the top 5%, the top 1%, the independent people the financially independent there is this thing called being financially independent and what what does financial independence mean it means you have you have an you have an income an ongoing income that it, that replaces your that replaces your your let's say your nine to five job and income that is commonly referred to this is called passive income now, there's different ways to make passive income. So a ton of different ways. But like I said, people who have who who have submitted to life, they they can they can there can be information right in front of them 
but they do nothing about it. They do nothing about it. And they, they keep complaining about their life. They will go to their grave complaining about how their life was a wreck, how they were miserable, how they were never truly happy. And this is a form of submission. If you keep doing this, you're going to submit. You're going to submit to your, your life. You're going to submit to your to the woman you're with. People aren't going to respect you as much. And you're going to be just a loser. Because your habits never changed. You did nothing different. You kept complaining. You never did anything different. But the top 5%, the winners, they see opportunity and they run with it. They do something with it. They don't make any excuses. They, they're never the victim. They, they, they know that failure comes with success. They know that failure isn't the opposite of success. Failure isn't the opposite of success, but not trying is the opposite of, of success. There's losers who keep complaining about about nine to five. Oh, I hate my job. Oh my gosh, I'm so miserable. Blah 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 blah. And they they just they never do anything about it. And that right there is very toxic energy. It's very toxic energy because if you keep complaining about your job and you're not doing anything about it, then like I said, you're you're known as a a complainer, a whiner, and you have just you just you just have some you just made submission to your life you have you you are submitting to your life and that is a no-go and the thing is <clears throat> about semen retention because 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 the difference is when you when you retain when, when okay when you relapse you don't find any reason to go extra for more you're comfortable you you might you might have an income um a salary is what they give is the drug they give you to 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 let go of your dreams. Now, like I said, if you relapse, if you relapse, you just don't have a reason why to go for more because you're comfortable. There's nothing telling you that you need to go for more. There's nothing telling you that you think you're comfortable. Um so you don't think that you have to reach for more you don't think that you have to go the extra mile you don't think you have to put in consistent work you don't think that you have to hit the gym after work or somehow your physique is going to go down you don't think you have to 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 create an a, a a business so you can somehow eventually escape your nine to five you 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 become lazy you become content you become disinterested you become mundane you become a part of the 99% and these are some very drastic, these are some very drastic behaviors that you can make. These are some very drastic behaviors that you can submit to because you're going to be that person maybe 30, 40 years from now who, who when he, he is retiring, he's going to realize, he's going to look back and he never did anything outrageous. He never, he never, he never went against the grain. He never, he, he never took any chances. He played it safe his entire life. And yes, somehow... But somehow, somehow nothing bad ever happened to him and nothing really extraordinary happened to him. The same thing happened to him. He became content. He never really reached for the stars. He was given a play and he took it. He never really reached for anything more. And I mean, this is a very sad way to, to live your life because you're going to look back and when you're old, you're not really going to have those reasons to go for more. And I was listening to something earlier, and it's called the opposite of courage is conformity. If you conform, you're basically a coward. It's cowardice. You're a, you're a coward. You're running from things that you know that can really transcend you into a new area of your life. But you're too scared. You, you care too much what other people think. You're you're always in your head. You're over, always overthinking. You never took the chance. You never You never grabbed what you wanted. And somehow your life is just normal it's it's not extraordinary it's not something significant it's not something that people can learn from it's just it's just normal so yeah i mean anybody can live their life and how they really want it to live you can go through the same motion you can do the same thing you can become the same person but at the end of the day are you really going to be satisfied with the life that you lived are you really going to be satisfied with the life that you live or are you gonna have regret? Are you gonna be? Are you gonna have regret about your life? I mean, this is your chance. Like I said, people they complain about their nine to five job. They complain, complain, complain. 
but when but they don't realize that it's 2021 and they can utilize whatever they're already good at their skill set and they can monetize it and they can this they can market it on the internet because the internet everybody has access to the internet every single person has access to the internet so if they if they have a product or service that they're proud of and the, and it's very good they can market their product their service out into the world wide web and then and then they can and then interested people may want to learn more about what they have to offer and eventually they may want to buy from you this is called entrepreneurship internet entrepreneurship this is a this is another way to build an income that you can escape that you can escape from the nine to five eventually but no one really is going to want to put any of the work um to be able to to do to acquire this thing because this this is the first ticket to freedom this is the first ticket to freedom every man in their life wants to be their own boss every person wants to be their own boss everybody wants to call their shots but when they realize that it actually takes grit persistence desire and faith to actually acquire these things to have tangible freedom in this reality no one is willing to go through the mud through the dirt to get what they want there's a few that are willing to but a lot of people submit the first step of adversity and if you're gonna quit the first step of, of adversity then you're just going you're you're gonna have you're gonna live your life as a revolving door they're, they're too worried about what what's the move for the night instead of how are they gonna escape their current situation and like i said when you consistently relapse you're 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 submitting to life you're submitting to life because once you relapse you don't have the core desire to really stretch for more you're content you're okay you you think you, in your brain you said oh this man's busted his nut he's done what he's had to do he's comfortable and he's really he it's okay for him to to continue his life the way he's living it but when you retain it gives you a sense of urgency and i mean a sense of urgency is the prerequisite to success if you have a sense of urgency to whatever your situation is if you want some if you want more from it then you have a sense of urgency to go super super fast reckless abandon for your action with action and try to get whatever you really want try to get what you really want but i mean like i said when you re when you relapse people like i said they'll forget your name they'll forget who you are and you'll never really be remembered you'll always be overlooked but if you retain you're gonna have presence you're gonna have presence you're gonna have aura you're gonna have significance you're gonna have confidence you're gonna people are gonna remember you you're gonna look people in the eye you're, you're not gonna f fade away from the sexual tension you're gonna d look directly you're gonna enter in inject yourself with who you are and your values to the world and whoever likes it will be along with you for the ride and whoever doesn't like it will 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 dis dis disassociate and they will crumble from you so i mean it's up to you it's up to you of who really wants it who really wants to become something and who really just wants to go through the motions and complain but never really get anywhere the choice is up to you your life is up to you like i said when you retain you're gonna have you're, you're gonna want to you're gonna be operating from a higher consciousness and what does this really mean it just means that the the the, the you're no longer going to be fed up you're no longer going to have really want to be uh talk about very insignificant things you, you want to you, you want to live from a higher perspective of life you want to live from a more intelligent way of life your higher self is waiting to to re reunite with you so you can carry out your soul mission there's a difference between having a soul mission and then there's a difference between having a job a job is physical is what your physical calling is but your soul mission is what your spiritual being who you really are was called to do and everybody has this it's just that a lot of people don't really find out from it because their habits are not aligned with who they are becoming so I mean if that made sense, you can like the video. If you can if you can relate, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.